to races and recaps. This is the January 2017 edition. We had a great year of racing in 2016, and 2017 looks even better. The purpose of the races and recap show is to bring you races ahead of time so that you can sign up and get involved with the race. Now, the second half of January, we're starting up with a lot of great races. In fact, they're all cup races at the U.S. ranking site of TowerRunningUSA.com. Now, a cup race is a race that's given a higher points value than the standard value of 50 points a race. These are races that are, could be very competitive, very well-run races, and they've earned a statue of higher races, uh, the top being the national championship race at the scale of the Strat in Las Vegas, and then each region has a points value of uh, races from 200 points, 100 point, or 100 point, equaling up to 750 points per region. So all five of these races are all cup races, and let's get right into what we have coming up. So on January 21st, we have the 34th annual Bop to the Top race in Indianapolis. This is at the uh, One America Tower. It's a 36-story building. It has 780 steps. It's a 100-point race at the TowerRunningUSA.com and also has multi-climb options and it's a very inexpensive and very well-run race. Now the second two races we have coming up, uh, I'm, I'm putting them together because a lot of people do one race on a Saturday and then they travel and do the next race on a Sunday. So the first race is Saturday, January 21st in Seattle, Washington. It is the American Lung Association Fight for Air Climb. It's at Rainier Tower. Now, it's a 40-story building, but it has an option of climbing four times. So you can either do 40 stories, you can do 120, or excuse me, you can do 80, and then you can do 120, or 160. Now, this race is given 100 points at the USA, at TowerRunningUSA.com for doing the four times up the 160 stories. I uh, guess the point is, if you're going to get 100 points, you're going to earn it. Now, what people have been doing in the past couple years is once that race is done on Saturday, they take the train down to Portland, Oregon, and they do another American Lung Association Fight for Air Climb. It's at the Bancroft Tower. It's also 40 stories, and this race has an option of doing 40, 80, 120, 160, and if that's not enough for you, 200 floors. So that's five times up. And also, this is a 100-point race at the ranking site, but you have to do all five times up, 200 stories. So you will definitely earn that. Uh, everybody that's done these two races the last few years really has a great time. I mean, there's nothing better than doing a race on Saturday and getting to do it all over again on a Sunday. Now, the next race we have coming up is uh, January 28th. It's in Dallas, Texas. It's the Big D Climb. That's the Leukemia and Lithoma Society. Now, this is at the Bank of America Plaza. It's a 70-story race. It has about 1,410 steps. Very well-run race. It is a 200-point race at TowerRunningUSA.com. And last year, they had 2,100 climbers on the civilian side, and in a separate stairwell, they had about two to 300 first responders and firefighters. And if you can't get to that race in Texas, well, there's another really cool race down in San Antonio. It's the 32nd Annual Long Star Tower Climb and Run Race. And it's a very unique race because they have the wave starts, and you run one mile, and then you run right into the Tower of America's Tower, uh, 58 stories, 952 steps, and your time from the beginning of your mile run to the top of the tower is all combined and makes it one race. Uh, very well run and has been a very favorite race for people uh, down in that part of Texas for years. Now on Saturday, excuse me, on Sunday, January 29th, we have the one of the favorite races in the country. It's the Aon Step Up for Kids race at the Aon Center. It's an 80-story race. It's uh, about 1,643 steps and uh, 
it's a it's a great race and it's uh, what's neat about this race it's it's for the Lori Children's Hospital so you actually get to see a lot of kids uh, climbing the race and it's nice to see some young people taking an active part in their health so and that race is a um, 150 point race um, it's a really fun race to do so there we have it we have our five races for january now we're going to end this show with one race in february now this is a closed race you can't get into it it's a very hard race to get into but we'll talk about it just uh, briefly and then on our next uh, races and recaps in february we'll talk about it some more but it's on february 1st wednesday night and it is the 40th annual empire state building run-up this is the granddaddy of the tower running races this is really the race that started tower running has a sport now we're going to be having some top top climbers in the world showing up for this race and trying to find out who is all in this race is like trying to find out national secrets it's it's kind of tough to figure out who is all going to this race darren wilson from australia won it last year i think he's going to be coming back to try to defend his title but i think he's going to have some really stiff competition and it'll be a, a fun race. It's on a Wednesday night, so uh, all of us in the tower running community, we like to keep in touch on Wednesday night and see what's going on and see how the re results come out. So there you have it. You have the uh, January edition of Races and Recaps. You know, find a race in your area. Uh, look, on, look on the site. Now, we'll put in the YouTube show notes below. We'll put links to all these races that you can sign up for. So sign up for one of those races. Now, I do have to tell you, in February, uh, the first weekend of February, there's five races in the United States. So you may want to look ahead in uh, towerrunning.com under races, and you can see what races there are uh, at that point, or towerrunningusa.com under the race calendar. Uh, so that you have plenty of time to sign up for a race. There's races all over the country. We'll be talking about those again in February. And hey, you know, here we go. It's, it's time to start climbing. It's time to start racing. It's time to start having a really fun time. So at your next race, at your next event, as always, have a great time. We wish you fast times up the stairwell, and we'll see you at the top.